Over 10 seasons, Julian Edelman developed an extraordinary bond with his Hall of Fame quarterback. Tom's definitely Julian's big brother for sure. Are you happy? I'm not happy. I'm happy. I'll be happy. I'm a little happy too. The other one. Happy. A lot of banter, a lot of back and forth, a lot of trash talk. You're too old! My relationship grew with him over the years, and I consider him a brother, and we loved working hard together. But he wasn't always so close with the Patriots' power players. My first interaction with Bill, I was catching punts. And I was nervous catching punts. I never really caught punts. You know, I, I may have muffed or double caught a punt, and Bill comes over, and he's whipping his, his whistle. Hey, Joels, come here. You know, if the ball doesn't turn over, it's going to go short and right on a right-footed punter. If it turns over, it's going to go left and long. Read the punt. You catch the punt with your feet, not your hands. And that's what he said. That was our first interaction. It was love at first sight. Just do it so we know you know what to do, OK? Look, I can't figure you out, Edelman. I'm not that smart, so just show me that you know what to do. When you're a rookie, late round, undrafted guy, you're playing numbers game all day long. Bad practice, I'm cut. Good practice, maybe not cut. When he came to the New England Patriots at the time, we had two very accomplished players in the receiver room and Randy Moss and Wes Welker. Obviously, you had Tom Brady. You know, initially, it was like that, that little kid on the playground, and he's looking at the big kids play. And Julian was like, man, I want to play with the big kids. I had the epiphany right when I got drafted. It's going to be me, Wes Welker in the slot, Randy Moss on the outside. That did not happen by any means. So when you catch it, try to take the path that the ball's taking you to away from the defender. That's what should happen, OK? You know what I'm saying? The numbers game still favored Edelman by the Patriots' first preseason game. The seventh round pick, Julian Edelman, number 11. Keep an eye on him. This one is coming down to Edelman. Heads to the right to the 30, 35 yard line, 40, 45 yard line, 50. Cuts to the left. He's to the 40. He's going to take it to this pitch. Julian Edelman, the Patriots' seventh round rookie draft pick. We were screaming, jumping up and down. We were like, are you kidding me? This is Wes Welker in progress. And he looks just like him on the field. It's amazing. You ever hear of Wally Pip? Wally what? Wally Piff. Uh-uh. You never heard of him? Uh-uh. Well, he played first base before Lou Gehrig. Oh, OK. Then Lou Gehrig started, like, whatever it was, 23 South thousand straight games. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the little man. That might be the, the fun man. return uh, story. No doubt. He was really a developmental player that, uh, once we got him, um, I would say developed pretty quickly as a prospect and, and one that we didn't want to lose, put on the practice squad. He, he was better than that, so he rostered and actually had a pretty productive rookie year. The way we looked at it is the way we looked at everything. We got Wes Welker to learn from. You learn Wes, do what Wes does. You do anything that Tom Brady wants you to do, and that's what Jules did. He breaks it across the 45, across midfield. Nice shot, buddy. That's the way to go. Fires end zone, caught, touchdown, Julian Edelman. Tom Brady to Julian Edelman. Edelman impressed Belichick early, but it took some time to earn the trust of another very important patriot. 